Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, the mystery man of the Shroud of Turin. Scripture reference is uh, Isaiah 53, verse 5, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Um... This has been a 15-year project recently completed by artisans in Spain, and it's based on a study of the Shroud of Turin. A sculpture has been created that matches the bloodstains. So the sculpture is made of latex, silicon, and real hair. <clears throat> the body is about 5 feet 10 inches and weighs 165 pounds. And the mystery man is on display in Salamanca Cathedral in Spain. And here's a link to the website. We're going to go up here and take a look at this real quick. Um, just get you all um, a look at this. Very lifelike. Discover the man in the Holy Shroud. Um, this is done by the Catholic Church. 15 years of research into the Holy Shroud of Turin. Hyper-realistic creation of the man in the shroud. Now, obviously, we believe that's Jesus, but that's for each individual to come to their own decision. Um, just kind of scroll down, get you a flavor for what we got, what was what was made. Very surreal. I mean, master of the obvious statement right there. And this is going to be on display. Salamanca Cathedral, October 13th through December of 2022. And you can buy your tickets here. A little bit about the cathedral. But anyway, give credit where credit is due. Um, and the main thing, just going to go through the Bible verses. And what they did is they looked at the shroud, looked where the wounds were. And they lined it up with a body, created a body based on the, the injuries, the blood staining from the Shroud of Turin. John 19, verse 2, <clears throat> And the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head and put a purple robe on him. So other references to the crown of thorns, Matthew 27, verse 29, Mark 15, 17, John 19, verse 5 as well. Here is a video uh, from the Catholic Church at the Vatican, the beautiful cathedral of Salamanca, Spain, is hosting an exhibit of the hyper-realistic and volumetric artwork entitled The Mystery Man, which is the result of an assiduous, assiduous study of the Shroud of Turin. took more than 15 years, and I'll, I'll get this going, give you a little bit of a flavor of what the exhibit looks like in uh, the cathedral in Spain. Uh, this was put up a couple of weeks ago. I just hadn't had a chance to get to it. All kinds of current events taking place. But we come to a Sunday where things are relatively peaceful on the international front. And I thought I would put this together, um, let people have a look at it. Now, the fascinating thing about this, the only place there was um, one mainstream Western news outlet that was reporting on this. Otherwise, it was just this main piece put out by the Catholic Church and then other Catholic churches in other parts of the world, or primarily in Europe, picked up on it. So there's really nothing out there about this, this sculpture this real life sculpture uh, that matches the wounds from the Shroud of Turin. Uh, a sincere, lifelike, realistic um, sculpture of a body. Now, for the individual sitting here watching this, that's going to be up to your choice, your decision as to who this actually is. Is it Jesus? Is it not Jesus? Anyway. And we're going to go through this and take a look at um, the different Bible verses 
and how it lines up with um, with Scripture and how it lines up with this shroud of Turin and ultimately this body. Mark 15, verse 15. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Uh, see also Matthew 20, verse 19. 27, verse 26, and John 19, verse 1. John 19, verse 18, there they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side, with Jesus in the middle. Um, now, some people have said, oh, this is only in the New Testament. Well, not exactly. There's uh, the Psalm of the Cross, Psalm 22. For dogs have surrounded me, a band of evildoers, has encompassed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Um, so for those who would want to say there's no evidence of um, Jesus claiming to be who he is, there are some really prophetic things you may want to check out. Pretty much describes, uh, you know, the, the Passover sacrificial lamb. That is Jesus in Psalm 22 and what he went through on the cross and the events leading up to the cross. Check out Psalm 22. Um, here's another tweet from the Vatican. Our team, in Salama our team is in Salamanca for a report on the exhibition called The Mystery Man, a hyper-realistic scientific reconstruction of Jesus' body according to the Holy Shroud very impressive indeed and here are four pictures that they took and again you got a link to the mysteryman.com which showed you that um website a little earlier uh as well john 19 verse 34 yet one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and immediately blood and water came out so uh provided links to the original story, Catholic News, Catholic News Agency .com, the first hyper-realistic body of Christ based on the Holy Shroud is on exhibition in Spain. Here is the article. Um, so when you click on that, you make sure you're at the right place. Um, you got some of the details from this um, for the article. Uh, nothing om omitted, including circumcision. So, made a real good faith effort to make this as realistic as possible. Hands behind one's back in accordance. Oh, when one approaches the figure, excuse me, with hands behind one's back in accordance with exhibit rules for visitors. I don't want anybody touching this or even thinking about it. Uh, one can observe every pore of the skin, freckles, eyelashes, eyebrows. Um, and it talks about the detail um, that went into making this sculpture, this body. So, and they do want to take it out into the world. Uh, scheduled to remain in Salamanca between four and six months. In the next 20 years, we want to go to churches around the world. So they want to make this a, a global exhibit. So you can check that out um, at the Catholic News Agency. Uh, also, and, and here, here again is the only, frankly, mainstream Western news media source of anybody who covered it. And that's it. Just one. According to Google, uh, I'm sure I could look at some other places and maybe find some other things, but um, there was nothing else on Google uh, in, in the mainstream press except for this one, uh, the U.S. version of The Sun, which is a publication out of England. So I think that's correct. Anyway, back to John 20, verse 27. Then he said to Thomas, place your finger here and see my hands. And take your hand and put it into my side. And do not continue in disbelief, but be a believer. And you know, that's the challenge to everyone today. Did Jesus die on a cross for sin, for the sins of the world, for each individual? 
yes or no, up or down. That's the decision. Uh, and we all have it. I'm going to close with a couple of verses. This is where things are headed. Zechariah 12, verse 10, And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of pleading, so that they will look at me whom they pierced, and they will mourn for him like one mourning for an only son, and they will weep bitterly over him like the bitter weeping over a firstborn. Well, we know Jesus is uh, God's one and only first begotten son. And close out with Revelation 1, verse 7, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. And, you know, and there's a reference back to the Zechariah 12, verse 10. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. So be it. Uh, so what do you do with it? What do you do with it? Encouraging others to share this. Um, you're looking at the sacrificed lamb of God, the Passover lamb. And he's also the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I would encourage those to consider believing in the lamb of God instead of having to manage. Well, you just won't manage it. You're in trouble. If you have to, if you are confronted with the lion of the tribe of Judah, because he is coming. Um, we read that. It's one of many places. Zechariah talks about that too, coming back on the Mount of Olives. Uh, big earthquakes. Coming with the clouds. Uh, the way the old world's going seems to be sooner rather than later, but that's ultimately on God's time clock calendar so but nonetheless <clears throat> encouraging those to be ready get ready if you'd like to uh, receive an email in regards to postings on the blog type your email address here in this gray box um, and hit subscribe and if you're interested in any of these topics we've got things been posted back to gosh august 2010 so we're going on 12 plus years now Appreciate everybody taking the time to follow. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.